it is officially 2019. I have a couple short clips that I'm just gonna like insert into this video um, just to kind of like catch you up on where I've been. But the main topic of this video is going to be um, about New Year's resolutions and what my New Year's resolutions in particular are. I wrote them all down because I journal pretty often and yeah so I have made a list and I'm going to read you that list. So I got to California from making my way from the East Coast. I'm, I headed west for the holidays and my family's in California so I came out here and I will insert some clips of that. The campground I stayed at when I first got there was so cool. It was called Faria Beach State Park. It was right on the water. Here's that. And while we were there, we, um, you know, redid the door of the bathroom and put some vinyl on there because one of you guys suggested that I do that and I thought, damn, that's a good idea. So we did that. Here's that footage. The car is right there. The ocean is right there. The ocean hits the camper in the morning. That's the hideous door that we're about to redo. There's bangs, hello. There's some more ocean. Ocean front everywhere. I also got my little bamboo tree. His name is Bingo. I got him a little brother named Carl. Carl is a Marimo moss ball. Here's that. Got a new home today. We put him in a mason jar with some marbles. And then he got a new little brother. This is Carl. Carl is a Marmo moss ball. He's perfect. So they're hanging out together. So cute. I got a new ring because my old one broke. I visited with my mom and my brother for Christmas. Banks got a Christmas present from one of you guys, so here's her playing with it. Olympic fireball. Banks wants to say thank you for her Christmas present. She loves them. This is what the finished door looks like. I know it's nighttime, but that's what it looks like. Visited with Bean. Here's her. I forgot to mention. Bean came last night. That's her out there with my friend Victoria. And we painted these paintings. That, that one's Bean, that one's mine. Oh. That one's mine, that one's mine. There she is. The Bean. And here's some random lady standing on my table right outside my campground. You wake up and there's someone standing on your table. <laughs> What? <laughs> Do we know this woman? I have no idea who that woman is. <laughs> That's my car. Never this seen is my camper. Life. This is my campsite. <laughs> and she's standing on our <laughs> table. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she doesn't know that, that, that you can't do that. I hope she got a great video. I really she hope. Walks through everyone else's yeah, they're go they're they're actually standing. The whole family is standing on the table of the next camp played over. Bang stop, and we know that's not them because we know our neighbors. <laughs> I hope they got a beautiful photograph. So overall, I had a really good holiday season, but the new year has started, and these are my resolutions. Number one would be to face more fears, like very intentionally face more fears. So you guys know that I've had panic disorder for a while, but I have come such a long way, and living on the road has really, really helped me with my anxiety because I it, it lets me know that I can take care of myself. And so when I get anxious about maybe my heart messing up and no one being able to help me or whatever, like it, I, I just feel more confident now that I, I've been living on the road for about two years. 
but there are still some situations that I really avoid. Like I pushed myself to go on a solo flight to New York City and hang out with a couple of my friends up there back in April, I believe last year of 2018, which was a really big deal. That was probably one of the only times I really intentionally pushed myself to face one of my fears. You guys know I don't like flying. I don't like being confined in a, a space like an airplane. So I did that and that was really good for me, but that was probably the only time in 2018 other than just like living on the road in general that I really intentionally faced a fear of mine. So 2019, I want to face more fears. I want to try flying over an ocean without my mom. I know that sounds like I'm a little baby and honestly, it makes me feel like a little baby, but I... My mom really understands my anxiety, so I flew to Spain with her in 2017, and I I wouldn't have gone if I wasn't with my mom, because since she understands my anxiety so much, I didn't feel like an idiot when I freaked out on the plane and started crying. Like, I didn't have to explain what was wrong with me to a stranger. Like, it was my mom, and she knew, and that was that. So, I, I did it but I was scared to do it. You know what I mean? So now I feel like my next step, I went overseas with my mom on a plane and then I took a solo flight, which was short from South Carolina to New York, which was like an hour and 25 minute flight tops. And I did that, but you know, now I would like to fly over an ocean, not with my mom. It doesn't have to be solo. Like I can go with like Joseph, who's my current travel buddy or whoever, but maybe I'll go to like Hawaii or Cuba or the Bahamas or somewhere that's not across the fucking world, you know, but somewhere where I have to fly over an ocean, not with my mom. <laughs> All right. So that's, that's, that's number one is to face more fears very intentionally. Uh, also in that is just to challenge myself to 15 more seconds at a time. So when I get nervous, I have a huge flight response. You know, it's like fight or flight. I'm not fighting nothing because there's nothing, I'm not in actual any danger, but my response is always flight, which is to just get out, get out, get out of whatever situation I'm in. So I'd like to challenge myself to 15 more seconds at a time. If I'm in an uncomfortable situation, just say, can I handle this for 15 more seconds? And just really try to push myself in that way. Number two is to do more charity and volunteer work. And the reason for this is because one, it feels really good. Me and Bean picked up trash on a beach in Bar Harbor, Maine, and it just felt so fulfilling to do that and go home with a two big bags of trash and just feel like we did something good for the world that day. But also because I feel like I am so fortunate to be able to live the life that I live, um, to be on the road every day and not have to work a traditional job. And I just get so much support from the people that watch my videos. I don't know why you guys give a shit about me, but you do. And I'm so grateful that you do. And, um, so yeah, I, I just feel like I've been very, very, very fortunate for the past two years to be living the life that I want to live. And so I, I feel like I've been working on myself. I've been working on my anxieties and, you know, my mental health that I've talked about in previous videos. And the fact that I've gotten that opportunity is really cool. So now I feel like it's time for me to really give back more. And so one of the things I want to do is do more volunteer work and donate to more causes, especially like environmental conservation. This is not, I'm not trying to make this a polarizing issue whatsoever whether or not you argue that climate change is real or not real i'm not trying to have that argument i think we can all agree that the planet is beautiful and making sure that we conserve the nature that we do have around us is important not a polarizing issue let's not argue so one of the things i'm doing um to do that is obviously i'm going to pick up trash and like all that kind of stuff wherever i go but also i'm making these puzzle pieces, which I will insert a photo of right now. So I'm going to try to do like different national parks, like little plants from different national parks and places that we are. I'm excited. We'll see what happens. 
I'm also gonna make like little necklaces with like vials and yeah cool and those puzzle pieces are fallen plants that I have collected in the area of different national parks around the country and yes I am perfectly aware that you are not allowed to take foliage from national parks so don't get it twisted that's not what I'm doing it's from the area that the national parks are in so from different areas of the country the first round that I made was from Joshua tree again I'd like to state not from inside the park and again I would like to state that these are already fallen flowers and plants these are ones that have died and I've picked up off the ground they are not living nor were they living when I got them and I am NOT taking copious amounts that will affect how it goes back into the earth I might take like this much of a fallen flower and spread it out into really tiny pieces to make these puzzle pieces and what I'm doing with these puzzle pieces is they are all going to be limited time offers limited edition because I'm only in these places every so often and I can only cast in resin a certain amount of these things at a time. I'm going to be making them into keychains, necklaces, and charms for your bracelets. If you are interested in one of those, I'll, you know, put the link to my email and everything in the description box below. So just send me an email. I did a live stream asking what you guys thought about the pricing for those things. I described the incredibly long process of casting each of these pieces and we kind of came up together with $15 for a keychain and $25 for necklaces and charms. The reason being because I am donating a large portion of those proceeds to environmental conservation it is not for me I just want to also cover the cost of the materials that I you know use because I am spending that money out of pocket but whatever the rest of it I want it to go to environmental conservation if you guys have any suggestions of specific charities that accept donations for environmental conservation and you would like to see your money go to those specific charities please leave those in the comments below I am happy to do that no problem but I think that this is a really cool way for me to be creative and make something beautiful and for you guys to have a piece of mother nature preserved in all her glory and from different areas of the United States and they're all handmade handcrafted hand foraged hand casted and I, I just think that they're such a such a cool piece to have it's it's not just like a keychain or a little necklace like these are not mass produced like these are art to me you know what I mean it just so happens that you can carry them and wear them with you so if you guys have any more suggestions on that little project please let me know I am totally open for ideas and input and criticism whatever it may be let me know what you think about that because I'm really 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 excited to be doing those a third resolution for me this isn't so much as a resolution as it is like a goal. I don't know if they're the same. I'm not sure. But you guys know that I got in a pretty bad car accident when I was in college and it totally messed up my nose. But I'm not sure if I've like mentioned this or whatever. Like it's very obvious that my nose is crooked. It leans this way. But what some of you guys might not know is that I actually can't breathe out of this side of my nose out of this nostril even though like and I'll show you this this is really weird looking I'm gonna show you the inside of my nose this side looks like the small side but I actually can't breathe out of this side because of the way that it curves up here so like this is gonna be weird but I get really bad migraines and I'm kind of convinced that a huge part of that is just not being able to breathe and just always having like pressure in my face over here. And one of my goals for 2019 is to just maybe potentially get the surgery that I need to just open this side back up so that I can breathe. Anyway, so there's that. Number four is to journal daily, even if it's only one sentence. I've already messed this up. I have not journaled daily, but I am 
journaling more often. I don't want to pressure myself to journal daily. I should have maybe written that differently, but I do want to journal more often and at least do gratitude lists. I did gratitude lists for like all of 2018 and I think that it truly changed my perspective um, on life in general. And if you haven't, I did do a video, two video, two part series on how and why to practice gratitude. And I will put the links of those videos in the description box below because honestly, just give it a go. It's life changing. Another resolution I have is to get back into having a yoga routine. So I used to do yoga like pretty adamantly, like almost every day. And I felt so good and so much stronger and so much more like relaxed in general when I did yoga and just like stretched out my muscles and built my strength in my arms and in my core. It felt really good. So I would like to do yoga three times a week at least. And I have a goal. Last year my goal was to be able to do a crow pose and I finally got a crow pose down. So this year's goal is to do handstands, like unassisted handstands very controlled and hold them not just like go into a handstand and like fall down but like a very controlled handstand another one is to travel outside of the country at least once which kind of goes along with my first one which is to face more fears another one is to do monthly goals and reflections that goes into my journaling i did that for the first portion of 2018 and it felt amazing to be able to set goals and then reflect on them what can i do better and what did i accomplish that was awesome Another one is to read it le another one is to read at least one book a month this year. I have already completed that goal for January. I read the book called This Is Where I Leave You by Jonathan Troper. It was pretty good. It was a pretty good read. Not my favorite thing in the entire world, but like I'd totally recommend it if you're just like passing time. It's kind of funny. The guy's kind of funny. It's basically about a family that is not so functional and they have just lost the father figure of that family so they are required to sit shiva for seven days and it's basically the accounts of what happened in that seven days in this household with siblings that don't necessarily get along perfectly there you go it's pretty funny though i am also currently reading the book called world without end which is the sequel to pillars of the earth by ken follett as you guys know that is one of my favorite books of all time and honestly the sequel is just as good i am so attached to the characters you'll love it read pillars of the earth by ken follett it's very long but an incredible story and it'll give you a lot of appreciation for architecture weirdly enough i, I know that sounds weird i never gave a shit about that but all of a sudden i do because of this book so get into it and if you guys want me to do monthly book reviews because i'll be reading so much i will be happy to do that as well another one is to do something creative once a week or make art once a week i think that one of the charity puzzle pieces that i have been talking about is a really good way for me to make art i did art so much when i was on the road with bean and i loved it it was so therapeutic to just like paint and create things but I noticed that my energy changes around different people depending on who I am traveling with at the time. Joseph is not the most like creative artistic person in the world, but he's very amazing in many other ways. Like everyone has their strengths and brings different things to the table. Something that I've always enjoyed is making art, although I kind of fucking suck at it to be honest, but it's always been really therapeutic to me. But I noticed that I let myself kind of slip out of it because Joseph doesn't do it and that's who I'm like spending a lot of time with right now. And just just because someone else isn't into something doesn't mean that I should let that aspect of my life go. If I'm fulfilled by something, I need to do it for myself regardless. So I want to focus on making art this year once a week, just doing something creative regardless of what it is, doesn't matter. It just feels good to me. And my last thing that I have a resolution for is to quit Juul. If you guys don't know what Juul is, it's basically, I have it somewhere over there. It's, it's like an e-cigarette, I guess. In 2018, I quit smoking cigarettes as a New Year's resolution and I got an e-cigarette called Juul instead and it really helped me quit 
smoking. However, I'm still addicted to nicotine because Juul Pods do contain nicotine. And so one of this year's resolutions is to quit Juul and get my body away from nicotine and having that addiction in general. So we'll see how that goes as well. These are my New Year's resolutions. I feel like this was incredibly long-winded, even though I'm trying to speak quickly in order to cover everything. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what your New Year's please let me know what your New Year's resolutions are as well, because I would love to hear it. I always love hearing people's ideas about the things that they want to improve on or change in their life. And if you guys also have a resolution to do more volunteer work or donate to charities, we can either do that together by creating these puzzle pieces and if you want one of them, I'll donate part of it to charity and that can be your good deed of the year or month or whatever. Or if you want to collect the pieces, that's really cool as well. Or you can just donate to your own causes on your own or do your own volunteer work. But just keep me posted because I love to hear that people are giving back to the world that we live in. So that's about it, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little New Year's resolution rant and wish me luck on everything and try to hold me to all my resolutions. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a beautiful day.